So Race 3 has been out for over a week now and I've been pretty addicted to it. We did get a taste of our first purple last episode which was the Missouri Mask. The strongest range helmet in the game surpassing Armadale after 50 plus hours. And of course with every big update there are balancing issues that had to be worked upon which impacts my Race 3 grind strategy. The biggest balancing change is definitely the drop rates. Initially Raiders felt that grinding lower level rates was better drops per hour over expert level rates, which didn't make much sense. It wasn't proven to be true until the community crowdsourced players drop rates data and figure out that expert mode was about a 1 in 30 versus a 1 in 45 rate at the level of 150 in a solo scale, a difference of about 50%. Expert rates typically take at least 50% longer, a ton more effort, a lot more supplies, and you can easily wipe and lose 30 minutes. Mathematically, it was objectively better to just grind lower level rates because you would actually get similar drops per hour with way less effort. But recently, Jagex changed the rates so that the drops per hour were exponentially better at higher levels. They said that the level 300 rate now has a 2.5 times more chance at getting a purple than at level 150. The new drop rate then, based on their information, at level 150 is now around 1 in 55 and the new drop rate at level 300, which is expert, is now around 1 in 22. These rates are solo scaled, so it definitely is worth it now to try to push for higher level rates because you are definitely going to get much better rates even past 300. With this new change, I will be grinding a lot of level 300 rates 3s. We've already cleared Expert in the last episode, but it was not very consistent or quick, so there's a lot to improve on. I will be refining my level 300 raids in both solos and groups and hope to score some more purples quicker. Perhaps we can push to higher levels in the future. Make sure to like the video and subscribe if you want to keep up with more adventures with Mr. Armbar at the Tombs of Amaskat. I'm trying out this Need Less Help invocation, which gives 25 levels just to see if we can maybe play around with it to uh, get expert because then the bosses will be easier but no it's not worth it it gets like almost no supplies at all like terrible damn we're 70 kc i've only still seen that one drop <laughs> nice we got our third insanity kc definitely a lot better this time around and we got a pb to go with it no way oh my god Alright, we, we, we need to stop talking there. Yeah, I am trying. I am trying, so. So, my team accidentally discovered that if you get the boss to under about 50 HP, the electricity part of the Enraged Phase of Warden completely disappears. So, yeah, if you can get to that point, you'll have a very, very high chance of clearing it, even if you don't have food. Oh my god, I got it! Yes! Oh. oh my god. We got it? Yo, purple? Purple? Yo, purple? No, it's not mine. It's not mine. I see a key in mine. Let's go. One second, don't open, don't open, don't open, please. Yes, we clutched the purple. Oh my god. Oh, I got dragon darts. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm just getting bomb money. I know is I'm getting bomb money, dude. That's that's, my that's on literally a bag. it. I hope it's not a ring. Yo, it's know. bomb money, bro. I know is is bomb money. Oh, what? Right, Damn. You know what? Okay, you got like the you second best drop, right? Is that, isn't that the second best drop? Good. Hell yeah, dude. So, yeah, yeah it's, it's like 500 mil or something. Oh, that's so good. Let's go, the Missouri. <laughs> Wireless technology is the future. That includes earbuds too. Let me introduce you to Raycon earbuds. They last 8 hours before needing a recharge, easy Bluetooth pairing, and a comfortable fit. Personally, I use these for calls with friends and family as it's super convenient for when I'm eating downstairs. It's perfect for when I go running as well while listening to music or other physical activities. Raycon earbuds come with noise isolation mode for when you really want to vibe to your music and awareness mode for when you want to hear what's going on around you during multitasking sessions. These high quality earbuds provide great sound at only half the price of premium competitors. It is just under $80 with my code. 
get yourself some nice Raycon earbuds by clicking on the link in the description or go to buyraycon.com slash rice for 15% off, which supports the rice fields too. Thanks for listening. <laughs> you know the go oh 33 oh two max hits with d darts over amethyst so jagex is busy taking feedback and adjusting the rates and it's harder now there's a bunch of like little changes so let's see how it feels i'm gonna start with a 220 and uh, see if there's any like noticeable difference so with this update the potions that you get from the spirits in the middle of the raid is definitely less not because of my invocation they just straight up lower the amount of ambrosiers that you get and like the adrenaline potions they used to give you for my invocation two ambrosiers two doses but now they only give you two one doses so it's half the amount same with the adrenaline potions is now half the amount so the Ambrosiers lets you reset your stats at any point back to full health. But you only have half of that now. So it's definitely going to make the raids a bit more challenging. Yeah, look at that. See, it's not even like it's not even like this third down is extra fast. It's still like a good amount. We definitely need to bring our DDSs. So they also made phase to a warden a lot more annoying because they made the core parts of the fight last a lot shorter so you could not do as much damage before it wakes up and you have to like knock it down again so you have to do like additional rotations of that nobody liked the update but luckily i'm talking from the future and they basically fixed it to how it used to be very similar wise if you uh, pump a lot of dds specs with a drone potion you can definitely still two down no problem oh no it's it's the uh, electricity one Guys, if you stand one tile next to them, it'll, it won't hit you. Like this, you see? So if it's already near you, you can just go right into him. Hell yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. I dodged a bunch of them. Nice. I have four of them. Oh my god, watch this. This is amazing. Oh. Damn, that was, that was beautiful. Oh, purple? Yo? Yo? Whose purple is that? Oh, it's not my purple, dude. It's not mine. Yo, it's yours. Yo, damn. I, yo, wait, grats, wait, I saw wait, I saw wait. my keys. Oh, you opened it so quick. Hold on, yeah, brother, man. Hold mate. on. Hold on, shit. Stop bro, what keys, is it? What is it, bro? Yeah. Oh, yeah. you got the blade. You got the blade, dude. Okay. That's, that's worth a few hundred mil, right? Yeah. Going up, mate. Oh, hell yeah. Dude, let's go. It should, everything should be going up just because, you know, the barrier of entry. Yeah, dude, it's your turn, Mr. Rickster. Next. Sheesh. Oh, actually, blowpipe the jugs, actually. They heal for max, so. No, I just blowpiped the jug, and I don't think it healed. It did. It's just, you took, like, a bajillion damage beforehand. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, purple. Holy shit. Oh, it's not mine, though. Oh, uh, good luck. Good luck. Yes. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> fuck. Dude, the light bearer. <laughs> oh, well. Hey, never seen that one before. <clears throat> oh, I got, I got a friend with it. Yeah, I guess I can try one expert solo right now and see where things go with this. The 250s were very comfortable, so... So I think it's time to start some solos because I can't always rely on my team just due to time differences and scheduling. And the best part about solos is that the average time to get a draw for yourself is about the same. Because for example, if you do a duo, it's twice as often to see a purple, but you have to split it between your teammates, right? So he's going to get the draw of half the time. So it's about the same amount of time. Let's say you do them uh, in around 30 minutes in a duo, it's probably around the same in a solo too. So definitely worth getting uh, used to the solos, but there's a few distinct differences uh, with the solos mechanically. And also just for me, because of my gear difference. So I've noticed that when I was working on these solos, for example, my rapier just wasn't doing the best because uh, my team had people that had the fang and the fang is just much better than the rapier on pretty much all the bosses here because it penetrates the fence. Rapier just misses a lot. So I've noticed Kefri room, for example, it can go super slow. It can be like five, six minutes long, which 
probably should not be the case if I had the thing. Uh, DPS wise, I've seen the DPS difference in the charts. It's definitely quite a lot at 300. And also there is the uh, skull mechanic if you choose insanity, which is what I did at the last phase of Warden, where if you don't eliminate all the skulls basically within take perfect, you will instantly die. So that definitely takes a bit getting used to. And eventually it'll probably just become muscle memory. But yeah, the, the skull mechanic on P3 Warden is really troll. You mess up at the end, there goes about 30 minutes of your time, you know, and you have to try it completely over again. So that's something that doesn't happen in groups. But again, just practice, I think will make it. And they might just add some more leniency though. Uh, I expect maybe uh, this week's update, they might. I'm gonna drink this just in case. Oh, dude, I failed the time, though. What the hell? 40 minutes? Oh, my God. Yes, you can actually two down uh, expert mode. That's awesome. Ever. All right, we did it in 34 minutes this time. So that was six minutes faster than the first uh, expert solo. Like, what the hell? Oh, dude, these look like giant dart tips, man. But they're not dart tips. Yeah, never again, dude. Oh, that was so fast, dude. I won <laughs> I won ball road and got it. That was sick. Alrighty. Okay, I have no more money on the death's coffer, so... Alright, let's sacrifice another hill. They're a really good price right now. 63 mil, nice. I put one in before when it was like 40 mil. We're gonna put in another one. I suspect we're not gonna worry about running out of, you know, death money for a long long time yeah i'm pretty sure the bgs is definitely working here because i finished with prayer left and i didn't even have to drink any uh, prayer doses so that was pretty crazy oh yeah I hit 200 mil hp what the hell i don't even know yay now now my range xp and my hit point xp because they're both 200 mil they combined again on my xp drops they're it's just they're both cancel marks now Nice. I love this refill option here. I made it so that shift left click so I can just resupply. Never have to worry about grabbing my old potions back. Hmm. I just don't have any of them except for this, which is like the least. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Let's go! The verb RNG! The verb RNG. I do feel bad though because uh, I'm currently not streaming, you know? Oh my god. I just wanted to get one clean run. Uh, before I, I sleep. I freaking called oh, it. Oh, no, I gotta go for back-to-back, -back, right? Holy shit! I freaking called it. First expert purple? Right, I'm, no, I'm... actually, no, no. First solo expert purple for me. You you want the, you want the fang, right? I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Or Holy, sorry, bro. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll take anything. Just don't give me a helm again, dude. It would be so nah, sad. You, no, 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 no. You're not oh, wow. I didn't even use any ambrosiers, which is crazy. All right, anyways. Let's get to it. Let's get to it, dude. Oh shit, bruh, bruh, what we got, bruh? Oh, I got the ring. Oh, the yo, ring. yo, yo, let's go. Is Give that me that. Good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's best in slot, dude. Huh. That's best in slot, yo. I uh, well, I, I ditched the B ring basically for this, just because you, you, you use specs. Yeah, you use specs a ton in uh in raids. So yeah, basically, I will bring this instead. Does it have any bonuses? Um, no, no stats, but it does double regen, so it is massive, dude. Uh, I mean, I, oh. I've used Berserker Ring everywhere all the time, dude. Easy so, purple. Yeah. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Yo, let's go, dude. New, new upgrade, pretty much. I'm excited to use this, man. So many specs. I like, Look at all these spec weapons I have, you know? Oh, yeah. It's going to be fun. Uh, I'm gonna yeah. have to get used to all the specking, that's for sure. How, what does, how much extra does it give? Um, it's twice as fast as regen. Holy shit. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that's what it does. Mm -hmm. Dude, this light bear is awesome. I I'm, I have another so, spec. So, this is great. Oh, oh, blow pipe, that's bad bitch. Yep, yep. There we go. Holy nice, shit, that spec. was worth what a, that. That was what great. Spec. Love, love the light bear already. Honestly, first use, and I'm already feeling the effectiveness <laughs> of it, dude. Like Easy extra blow by spec. Oh yeah, dude. I also did another blow uh, BGS spec with it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So the light bear ring is such an interesting ring because normally we just compare ring based on the stats like berserker ring two max it's so good but light bear is all about doubling your special attack regeneration speed which is insane so essentially you will get twice as many specs as you normally would in whatever situation you would use and i feel like it's a no-brainer in many situations the light bear allowing you to spec more often is much better than something like a berserker ring where you gain two max hits because like imagine if you could spec with claws more often when you really need it or a warhammer more often when you really need it um anything really when you really need it right so i'm thinking yeah this ring should easily be best in slot at race three because you're specking so so much and probably something at like chambers too because you are specking a ton you often go to claws or warhammer or things like that so yeah we're gonna be testing the ring at a few core places and probably just you know talk about the reticle uses for it as well because it is probably arguably the most powerful ring in the game in general in the versatility and probably just effectiveness at pvm so with the light bearer it takes only 15 seconds to get 10 percent special attack energy which means only two and a half minutes to get 100% spec back. So most of these fights in race three for the bosses usually takes at least three, four, five minutes. So that means with the ring, I will be regening an extra 100% to 200% special attack energy in every room, which means I can land an extra two to four claws, an extra two to four BGSs, insane amounts of DDSs on P2 Warden. The light bearer just made phase two warden so much easier to two down even in an expert i think i still had two hits left over before it would go to a third phase here's a perfect sample of the light bearer's versatility because i gained an extra 100 percent spec energy back in a time where i was super low on food i was able to just pop two extra blowpipe hits on the boulders and gain back an extra like 40 hp and yeah i was able to clutch out this room without dying so I've been finding even more amazing ways to use the light bearer at race 3. I can't wait to find out more stuff about it. But essentially, we did talk about 2 downing Warden, right? And how the ring made that a lot easier. Well, if you do 2 down the Warden with the Adrenaline Potion, of course, you should still have some of the Adrenaline Potion effect left over for the start of the Phase 3 of Warden. Maybe like 30 seconds to a minute. And in that time frame, you should be able to regen about 25%. So even 50% spec so you can bgs the start of warden phase three once or twice which makes the fight a lot quicker and then by the end of phase three when it's in rage phase you should have pretty much 100 spec because of the rings regen and that allows you to basically claw the boss four times or twice if you don't have another adrenaline dose which speeds up the enrage phase a lot so this ring is chef's kiss so good damn bro i 4x claw that stuff i didn't even know what i hit but it was a lot of damage <laughs> yo oh that was so sick yo definitely one of the struggles of group versions of race 3 is the fact that there is a lot of area-wide attacks that happens and they'll target individuals but sometimes they target at the same place because your team and yourself are next to each other. So sometimes you just get completely comboed out. They have since fixed it so that you can't get stacked by both of them. But it still sucks having to dodge your teammates AOEs on top of your own. So when you fight Warden, you'll have two demi bosses that you also have to deal with uh, in terms of avoiding the damage. And which two you fight alongside Warden depends on which side of the obelisk on phase one of Warden that you interrupt. So if you interrupt the left side, I call it the left side, then you get the croc boss and the monkey boss. And I like this over the Akka and Beetle one because Akka, if you aren't paying attention to its attack rotation and you don't have your prayers set correctly at the time it shoots the attack, it's too late. It'll already go through your prayer. Whereas the croc, it'll shoot the attack and you'll have plenty of time to see what attack it is and you can still block it in the last second so it's really nice 